All right, so here is my hospital bag packing list. Over here I have a suitcase with some cran apple juice, some trail mix, and some wheat thins. Um, while we were there last, they do have a cafeteria with some great food, but just for snacking in the room, they only have like crackers and very plain like apple juices and things like that. So we figured we'd pack a few of our own snacks there. Um, right here, we are bringing a couple pens. I have a journal that a friend of mine gave me, so I'm gonna take that. I have a couple copies of our birth plan, and Jeremy is taking his extreme survival book, <laughs> just a read for downtime. Um, we wanted some things to do if there was downtime. So for Jeremy, we have pajama pants, a pair of shorts, we have a couple pairs of underwear, a couple pairs of socks, he has a shirt to sleep in and then two other shirts to wear, so two changes of clothes. And we're taking a like cardigan for him, or like a hoodie, because last time we were there he got really cold. So um, for me, I have kind of a, these are all maternity as well, a nursing tank, a little bit of a long sleeve because again it was cold, and just a regular um, maternity t-shirt. I have I think three pairs of socks because I'll probably be walking on these a lot. A um, couple pairs of underwear. I am bringing a nursing bra and a, um, it's more like a sports nursing bra, like a sleeping nursing bra, so a really comfortable one. And I'm also bringing my own cardigan here if I get cold. And I'm bringing a pair of sweats and a pair of pajama pants, both really loose, so that should be pretty comfortable. For baby, we have in here Let's see. And I know I don't need these things, but just in case, I'd rather bring them. Or, you know, on the drive home if something happens. But there's, um, I got some samples in the mail. So there's some travel, a travel pack of wipes, a couple diapers um, that I got in the mail um, for samples that have the little belly button cut out. And I also have, because we plan on giving baby first bath instead of the doctor, I have here some Honest Company samples of, um, what is it, the shampoo and body wash and the lotion, which for lotion we'll most likely use just like a coconut oil on the baby. For baby, I also have two pairs of socks. Um, one is also might be used as like the little hand mittens so, they don't, so the baby doesn't scratch itself. So I like using socks better than like the little mittens you can buy. Again, I know I don't really need clothes for the baby, but I wanted to go ahead and bring some of our gender neutral items because again, we do not know the gender. I have a newborn right here, a little onesie, it just says I love hugs. If anybody knows Jeremy, his mama always said he was such a good hugger as a little boy and a baby, so it's just cute for <laughs> Jeremy. We also bought two gender specific outfits. Um, we just went to Once Upon a Child, bought some used outfits and they're, they're summer friendly, like just little tank top and shorts. They're both newborn. We got one with like little alligators and one for a girl with little fishies on it and the fishy on the tush. And then I have one sleeper that is gender neutral. And what's cool about this is it has the hands with the little mitts in them. So that's what we're taking for baby. I'm also taking two of my muslin, um, what are these called, swaddlers. And our baby blanket, this, isn't this so cute, this white minky baby blanket. I'm taking those. I am lucky to have a very generic prescription for my glasses. I'm just a 2.5. So you can go to dollars, the Dollar Tree, no joke, and these are a dollar. So instead of trying to find mine last minute and pack them, I'm just going to pack this cheapy dollar pair of glasses. One other thing I did is I took an empty pill bottle and I put a couple days worth of prenatals in here and a couple days worth of some other meds that I'm on. So that's just in that bottle. And again, instead of packing, you know, last minute the toothbrushes we have and finding the holders for them, blah, 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 I went ahead and just bought a two pack and again bought a new toothpaste because we'll use it eventually instead of packing up last minute. So here's my toiletries that I'm taking to the hospital. Let's see, I heard to take my own tissue because theirs are really hard. I am taking, these are antibacterial hand wipes. I know they have the foam there, but just in case, you never know, I may not wanna get up and find the foam. Um, deodorant, um, Listerine, 
uh, a bar of soap for Jeremy, a razor, of course. Let me flip this over so you can see everything. Q-tips, um, shampoo and conditioner, body wash for me. And then over here, let's see if we can see everything. I have a couple sample packs of nursing pads. I know they'll probably have some there. I have some of my own pads that aren't crazy thick like the ones I know they have. I have some of my very basic makeup items in here just so I can feel somewhat pretty during the <laughs> picture process afterwards. I have some hair ties and some bobby pins, a loofah for myself instead of a washcloth, a hairbrush. This right here is, a lot of people said to bring stool softeners, which I'm not a fan of taking oral stool softeners. So these are glycerin suppositories and they are, have a similar effect. Um, let's see if I missed anything. Nope, I think that's it for that bag. Okay, so here's a weird one. Somebody recommended that instead of pads, because they slip around on your underwear, they, you, know, you can get leaks and all that, to buy, <laughs> um, depends. So I bought a six pack of Depends. And actually I took one out and looked at it. It's basically like a big pad, just like what they'd give you at the hospital, but has more of like an underwear on it. So it's one piece. And I think that's actually gonna work out well. So I'm taking a pack of Depends. We'll see if I like that option, but it was recommended to me. So I'm gonna try it. And I also have my Boppy Pillow. I have my diaper bag, which I'm gonna put a lot of items in and then stash in the suitcase. And then over here, we have our camera gear. So we are taking one of our nice cameras and our 50 millimeter lens, take pictures. Again, we have some more snacks, just granola bars, oatmeal bars. We are taking a charger for our iPhones and iPads and headphones for each of us. So, all right, so here is what Papa has to grab when I go into labor, if it happens before induction day. <laughs> or on induction day, he'll grab this. So he just needs to grab the baby car seat, which is in gray and teal, my favorite colors. We probably need to take the tag out so we can actually use it. Um, he needs to grab the suitcase, the boppy nursing pillow, and our camera bag. I also made him a list right here. And it says, last minute pack. So he needs to last minute grab his deodorant, both of our iPads, both of our phones, both of our wallets, both of our personal pillows. And we have these um, just Target water bottles we kind of carry around everywhere. So I want him to grab those so we're not drinking from Dixie cups at the hospital all the time. Um, and then just to remind him what needs to go in the car is suitcase, car seat, camera bag, and boppy pillow. So that is our hospital bag list.